Good day everyone! So for today's video, we're going to have the second leg of the operations on function and that is all about subtraction of functions. So how do we subtract functions? Um, it is again a requirement for us to have two functions, may it be f and g of x. And then if we are to look for the difference f minus g of x, then we are actually looking for f of x minus g of x. So let us, let us illustrate it using an example. So let f of x be equal to 2x minus 1 and g of x equals 9x minus 3. And then we are to find for f minus g of x. So just like what we did in addition, what we're going to do is to rewrite f minus g of x into f of x. That's f of x minus g of x. Since nauna si f, yun yung magiging minuend. At since na uh, sumunod naman si g, that would become our subtrahend. Okay? And then after that, we first copy what is f of x, the mean, of me, the mean of n. So that would be 2x minus 1. And then we are to subtract it. So we have here a minus sign. And then please do not forget to put parentheses. Okay? And then before copying g of x, and g of x would be 9x minus 3. And then after this one, we have to omit the parentheses given that we have distributed the, uh, the, the negative sign to all terms inside the parentheses. Or, in other words, we have to change the sign of all the terms present in the subtrahend. So, this would become 2x minus 1. Since uh, si 9x ay positive, at i-distribute natin yung negative sign dito, so that would become negative 9x. And then, since dito negative, Tapos nasa loob niya is negative 3. So by changing it, that becomes positive 3. Okay? And then after this, we now, we now rearrange it in a way na magkakasama na po yung like terms. Okay? Si 2x, like term siya ni negative 9x. So pag sunurin natin siya, that is 2x minus 9x. And then we proceed with the constants negative 1 plus 3. So we have negative 1 plus and then after this, we so, uh, we simplify. So that is 2x, that's 2x minus 9x, or simply saying 2 minus 9, that is negative 7, and then we copy the variable x. And then we have negative 1 plus 3, that would become ne a positive 2. Hence, if we are to look for f minus g of x, then the resulting function would be negative 7x plus 2. And that would be for our first example. Let's proceed with the next one. Let f of x be equal to x squared minus 3x plus 4 and g of x equals 5x minus 3. And then we are to find for f minus g of x. This time, uh, meron tayo ditong quadratic function at meron tayong linear dito. So, hindi na po equal yung terms. And what we're going to do is to find f minus g of x. So, tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, since nauna si f dito, so f of x, that, was, that is our minuend, minus g of x, and that will be our subtrahend. And then after that, we copy first, we copy first what is f of x. So, that is x squared minus 3x plus 4. And then, subtracting it, please do not forget to put parenthesis, subtracting it with g of x. And that would become 5x minus 3. And then, after this, we omit the parenthesis by uh, changing all the signs of all the terms present in the uh, subtrahend. So that is x squared minus 3x plus 4. And this would become negative 5x, and then we have positive 3. Okay? Uh, parenthesis is very important here. Malaking tulong po si parenthesis para po hindi po tayo madirect sa maling sagwa. Okay? Next is that we have, what we're going to do is, what we're going to do now ay pagsamasamahin po natin yung like terms. Since si x squared ay wala naman po siyang like term, so, we leave x squared as it is. And then we proceed with the x terms. That is negative 3x 
like term niya si negative 5x. So that is negative 3x minus 5x. And then we proceed with the constants positive 4 and positive 3. And then after this, we simplify. Since nag isa si x squared, then we just copy x squared. Next, we simplify the x terms. That is negative 3x minus 5, or simply saying negative 3 minus 9, that is negative 8. And then we copy the variable x. And then we lastly simplify positive 4 plus 3, that is positive 7. Hence, if we are to look for f minus g of x, then the resulting function would be x squared minus 8x plus 7. And that would be for our second example. Okay, let's proceed with the third one. This is a bit more longer than the two previous examples. So let f of x be equal to 3x squared minus 7x plus 4 and g of x equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. And then we are to find for f minus g of x. So applying what we did a while ago, that would become f of x minus g of x. Since nauna po sa statement natin si F. And then after this, we copy f of x, that is 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. The, uh, subtracting it with g of x, okay, do not forget to put parenthesis, that is 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. And then after this, tatanggalin po natin yung parenthesis or we omit the parenthesis. Given that, we have changed the sign of all the terms present in the subtrahend. So that is 3x squared minus 7x plus 4 minus 2x squared. So this would become, this would become negative. So that's negative 5x. And this would become positive. So that is positive 8. Okay? Next is that we combine like terms. Okay, so si 3x squared, like terms, with uh, negative 2x squared. So we have 3x squared minus 2x squared. And then after that, we proceed with the x term. We have negative 7x and negative 5x. So we have negative 7x minus 5x. And lastly, we have the constants positive 4 and positive 8. So we have plus 4 plus 8. And then lastly, we simplify. So we have 3x squared minus 2x squared or simply saying 3 minus 2, that is 1. And then we copy the variable x squared or we simply put x squared. Okay? We have x squared and then we proceed with negative 7x minus 5x or simply saying negative 7 minus 5, that is negative 12. And then we copy the variable X. And lastly, we have positive 4 plus 8, that is positive 12. Okay? So, if we are to look for f minus g of x, then the resulting function would be x squared minus 12x plus 12. But you have to remember this. The difference of f minus g of x is different from the difference of g minus f of x. In a way na, Yung magiging, yung lagi natin maunang function, yung magiging uh, uh, minuwen, at yung pangalawa, yung subtrahend. Okay? So, let us illustrate that. Okay? So, we have same given. But this time, we are to look for g minus f of x. So, ang mangyayari would be g of x minus f of x. So, nauna na po si g of x. So, we first copy g of x. That is 2x squared plus 5x minus 8, and then we are to uh, subtract it with g of our f of x. So we have to put parenthesis, that is 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. And then after that, we omit the parenthesis, or tatanggalin natin si parenthesis, given that we have changed all the sign of all the terms inside the parenthesis. So that is, 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. So this becomes negative 3x squared. And then this term becomes positive 7x. And lastly, this term becomes negative 
4. Okay? And then after that, we rearrange uh, the terms given that uh, magkakatabi na po yung mga like terms. So that is, si 2x squared at saka si negative 3x squared, that is 2x squared minus, minus 3x squared. And then we proceed with the x term, that's positive 5x and positive 7x. So we have positive 5x plus 7x. And lastly, we have negative 8 and negative 4. So negative 8 minus 4. And then we simply find. Okay? So that is 2x squared minus x squared. Since we are just uh, add, uh, subtracting them, we copy the variable x squared. Sorry. We copy the variable x squared. And then, we subtract their numerical coefficient. So, 2 minus 1, or 2 minus 3, that is negative 1. So, we have negative x squared. And then, we proceed with positive, x plus, uh, positive 5x plus 7, that is positive 12x. And lastly, we have negative 8 minus 4, or simply saying, mar, meron kang utang na walo at sinundan mo ng uh, uh, utang na apat, then that would be uh, 12 na utang all in all. Hence, that would be negative 12. So, if we are to look for g minus f of x, then the resulting function would be negative x squared plus 12x minus 12, which is different from um, the, the difference of f minus g of x. And that's how we subtract functions. <laughs>